would be interesting to show this, wouldn't it? So the one two interval is like this. And then one three. So that's one two and that's one three. And they both have a calculated equivalent in consonants. And five, one, five. Like that. If we look at the three, well, what have we got? The two threes, the two three, like this. Uh, the two three. One, no, that's a three three. Well, that's okay because we needed to show that one. That's the same thing. Now, if we look at the two three, oops, that's a little more consonant. And then a three four, let's find a four, it's like this. Four, three. So those are the most consonant. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a recap of composing in multiple dimensions, part 23 story. In today's episode, we used our piano kit on the right hand side and we did lots and lots and lots and lots of things. We added arcs and troughs to our figures in the 2332 scale. Uh, we identified cadence sequences like you just heard us doing. Um, for all possible consonances that are in this scale, and they are here. So the 1, 2 through the 5, 1, and the 3, 3, those have all been identified on our score here. There's a 1, 2, 2, 1. And the 3, 4, and the 4, 3, and the 2, 3, and the 3, 2. All of those have been identified. So what we've been doing is what we call grinding the pigments. This work area is where we've been taking our original cadence by note function, which came from our original uh, chords that are in this scale, 56 total chords. We created uh, 155 bars out of that. To work with 56 155 and then we've been expanding that into further selected groupings based on in this case uh, interval pairs and then down here way 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 down here on um, actual figures like that and the interesting thing about that is that um, when you added troughs and arcs, uh, as well as ramps, it gave us a whole lot more figure variations to work with. So you just heard us do uh, troughs and arcs for that particular thing. Now the same thing with a, with a what we called ramps would sound like this. And then if we jump down to, oh, pick a 3-3, three, three, pick a 3-3 three, three down here. Compared to this. So the point being, we call these grinding the pigments because that's how paint is made. You have colored minerals and rocks and you grind it up and you mix it with oils and solvents and then you put it in tubes and put it on your palette and then you paint it on a canvas. So we're going to be painting compositional canvases by sequencing these different figures. That was a 3-1 figure. And then way up here we have some 3-1, um, for example, cadences like this. 
So you could play you could play something like oops. We're not doing it right now, but where we're gonna go for next time is this type of thing. You know, slap a cadence against the figure. Like that. But we deliberately pick the cadences that are also, let's say, a lot more uh, consonant, which is why we looked at the consonants table. Way, way, way down here. Do we mention that like these things? So we can vary our consonants and our dissonance, just like you can vary sweetness and bitterness or put bittersweet together and get dark chocolate. So... That concludes today's stream. Where we're going next time with this is, uh, we we did come up with an idea for a story. It's uh, So we're gonna brainstorm some diagrams that uh, will help us take the words, which are void, energy, distinguish, extend, and get them into some kind of a, a visual pattern for animation and, and an aural pattern, which we already just talked about. Um, And one of the things we could, we're going to do is add backbones, like we just said a minute ago, add backbones there, and also uh, and add cadences. We'd like to acknowledge Waffles Girl and Brass Pops for their questions and participation. It always makes things more interesting when they say, what are you doing? And uh, then I say, are you still there? Yes. And then we explain it. And then sometimes they even say, oh, I get it. So that was kind of fun today. Um, tune in next time. See where we go next. Do take care. Do come back. And do keep on streaming.